Welcome back. You're just in time to kickstart the party. It is a Friday on your Feel Good Breakfast Show, and it's about to get even more feel good. Now, a few weeks ago, we gave you the exclusive interview about the annual open mic jazz singing competition, an incredible competition. And now we bring you another exclusive, this time the winner of the exciting competition with us, fresh from being crowned as that winner is Austin Lee Jacobs. Austin, welcome to the show, my friend. Hi. I've been watching little gut check moments here go <laughs> on inside of you as we've been sitting down. It's real. Does it feel real? Um, well, actually, it's, it's, it's still sinking in, Graham. Eh? Good. So, but it's, I, I actually feel awesome. It's, 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 it's an awesome feeling. And it, uh, to win the, the open, um, Grand West Open Mic competition is, is, is an honor, actually. Well, you're I mean, up against really stiff opposition. There is such a groundswell in classical and jazz focus at the moment. Why jazz specifically for you? Specifically, why I chose jazz was because um, from high school, I was brought into that roots. I mean, so I always used to turn to those, the, 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 the Kurt Ellings and the, the Bobby standards. McFerrins. Yeah. So, so once, so I was like mostly pushed into the jazz and I just fell in love with jazz, I mean. And clearly jazz fell in love with you, my friend. Now, when, you, <laughs> yeah. when you think about having an cool. opportunity or platform to operate from when you are starting out in the industry, this competition is massive. When it's you awesome. Consider it's what the, the past winners have been able to achieve with that. How does that make you feel? Do you see the pathway to success or is it still um, you know, a few steps away? How do you feel about the future that's ahead of you now? Well, I feel positive about the future, first of all. Um, I actually feel that if I put myself properly into the, the, the this comp um, not competition, how can I say competition? But if I put myself properly into what I need to do and where I want to be one day, I will definitely achieve it. What is the next goal for you? Can we see an album? What collaborations are well, you working on? What covers? You mentioned well, some great names with already. A, with winning um, the Grand West Open Mic Competition, you get a recording deal where wow. you record five songs and they master it and they mix it for you. So, I mean, that's awesome already. So, I need to start working. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, well, I see actually my, my biggest goal, for not, not probably for this year, but for a few years immediate coming. Immediate future, yeah. I want to perform at Madison Square Gardens. Oh, that's say, the biggest. Say it again there in that camera. Madison have a... Square Gardens. That's one of my biggest, biggest ultimate dreams. In the world, actually. <laughs> I love it, man. And you know, on this show, we have a habit of these uh, making these dreams become a reality. Oh, the yeah. show is a tipping point. Um, but there's a reason why we get stars of your caliber on the show. There is a reason why you won this competition, my friend. And there is a definite reason why your career is going to take off. Off, yes. Because you are brilliant, <laughs> dude. You are brilliant. Thank and you, you so much. Some of the best Thank of the country. So I'm going to shake your hand once again because I have a feeling the next time I see you, I might have to ask permission from a manager Whoa. to be able to get that contact. But my brother, well done. Congratulations so much, on winning man, man. the 20 2016 Open Mic Jazz Competition. Thank you so much, eh?